What's going on, y'all? It's Eric Tech Stuffs on a clean bench on a Wednesday. I hope you're having a good day. It's May 10th where I'm at recording. I hope uh, you're having a good May 10th where you are at. So today we're talking about something very elusive. It's actually something that has bothered me and always curious about since I received my RCI 2950 way back in 94 or so. On the box, which I'll show... See that highlighted part? It had a CTCSS optional tone board right on the box. Of course, later on they just eliminated that, and like the C, uh, 2950 CD I saw, it just had the showed the repeater splits. But yes, this radio here does have split repeater option available. And that's great on 10 meter FM repeaters. Um, yeah, it's not as uh, prevalent as two meter 440 repeaters, but still it's a fun little option is 10 meter FM repeaters. And yes, you can program the split. You can use that without, which is what these were really when they came out. A lot of 10 meter repeaters were still open and not using CTCSS tones to close them down a little bit. And it does make sense because, yeah, I remember even into the late 90s, there was a repeater in my area, and uh, it would get kerchunked all the time, just from DX and static and everything like that. Um, even a couple of times, you can be in a certain area and you can key up a multitude of the repeaters that use the same split frequencies. And if they ha all had open, you, you could talk to each one of those. So the received back was just, uh, you know, five different people trying to return from three different or four different repeaters. So yeah, that's kind of gone away. And now we kind of really need the CTCSS tone option in this. Now I ended up looking and searching forever and ever and ever. And I've heard, saw other comments of guys wanting the same thing and it kind of left with no results. And then I did some real searching and then I come to find out, yes, on the Ranger website way back in the day, and they had some great helpful information. They had the instructions of how to set up a ComSpec TE32 CTCSS tone encoder. They also had the instructions for the SS32 and the SS64. So I have, of course, as usual, another uh, ComSpec TE32 to use. So we're going to play around with this, but these are the instructions for the 2950DX. So it is the two duals uh, radio there. That's the 10 and 12 meter radio. So that's what these are the hookups for. Pretty nice to have this, at least if uh, anyone has the DX and they want to use them on FM repeaters. There you go. You just got to find these, which are very elusive. Sometimes you can find them at Hamfest. Sometimes you can find them online. They don't sell them anymore. Even though Communication Specialist is still in business, they have moved on from the CTCSS tone world. So these boxes are no longer available. So our voltage on red is Q49, which is, thank you, it's TX power. So we only need uh, encoding on the transmit side and ground and shield will be going to ground and we have CTS output white going to the base of Q28 transistor. Of course, that's in series with a 100K ohm resistor. So that is good information. Now that we have the DX, we need to find out how to do it to, the, to my old school girl here. So we're going to have to do a little investigation on this because I'd love to marry these two together. And that would be very nice to have all the options available to the radio since I already have this. It's just one last thing. And I don't think Ranger actually has any radio built in with CTCSS tones. They don't have a board in any of those. I, I even looked up the uh, 2970, what is it, the N4 now, a 400 watt model. They don't have that in there, but split and everything is in there. I'm very surprised they don't have a way to, like, if you hold down the split button, it would go into an add-on menu button and allow you to add CTCSS tones. But, yeah, they don't offer that still. It's unfortunate. It advertised as a 10 and 12 meter radio, but, yeah, when you can't do FM repeaters uh, with CTCSS tones... 
you end up having to use a different manufacturer. I mean, I think they should update the times. But we're going to go ahead and just uh, get this put uh, taken apart and see if we can find out everything about this. And Q28, it's not going to be the same in here. It's a different board. That was all surface mount in the DX series. And just by magic, we have the block diagram here. And it looks like Q28 goes, the transistor is in the FM mod section. So basically, we just have to go ahead and get another block diagram of the 2950 and see if we can make heads and tails of it. And then we can maybe add CTCSS tones to this radio because, yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I began fiddling around with this, so we do have wires coming out the side at the moment. And I can't find my trusty Surecom uh, frequency counter, that one that I had on the channel, that little gray box. I gotta find that thing. Because this would be perfect for the uh, CTCSS tones. Fortunately, I cannot find it at this time. But let's uh, play around with this. And I'm just going to use the old ICOM 7300. This thing is dusty. I got a data vac that. That is, that is, that is, if that's on the top, I can imagine what's inside. So yeah, I'll data vac that. That'll be a satisfying video to see this get cleaned back up again but we're going to use the uh, tone scan on this and what do we have this set we have it set for the reds so right now we're on 151.4 and we're just going to use this I'm going to do a dummy load using a oddball frequency so we can see if this actually works and then after it does I will tell you how I did it let's do a tone scan keyed up testing one two three four oh yes I have the mic gain way down on this radio testing one two three four testing testing one two three four my goodness, my goodness, I think we have a winner, but let's check it on another subaudible tone and run a tone squelch one more time. All right, so let's do that. We're going to go to, let's say, 100. So that's blue. Yeah, this box is kind of fun to learn, but very easy to do and a nice outside piece. A lot of them have dip switches and stuff. I may do something with the Arduino again and CTCS tone on this now that I know, I think, where we need to go. So we're gonna try 100. So we're gonna do a tone scan again on the ICOM 7300. Where it stops, I hope it's 100. Let's see. All right, it's showing 100. Hello, test one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. All right, so that will work, it seems. Now, I do hate to cut this video just a little bit short, but she is not dressed up for the prom. I still have wires hanging out. I want to add a jack to the back, and I'm kind of running out of camera space, so I need to edit this video, and yeah, we need to add the three pin stereo jack since that's all we're going to use and there's a nice convenient slot in the back i'm going to go ahead and clear up some storage edit this video out but i'll release on sunday uh the part two pretty much of this which is showing the final connections and everything inside so you can use one of these and of course if you want to add a stereo jack to the unit you don't need more than one of these units because you can only talk on one radio at a time. So save the rest for us, please. Because, yeah, these are getting close to unobtainium. They don't make them anymore. Communication specialist is in business, but not in that business, unfortunately, any longer. So I'll see you in the next video. I do appreciate you stopping by the Eric Texas channel. Please sub up if you want to. And I do appreciate all the comments I get. And I try and respond to all of them and i actually have a whole bunch i have to respond to so a couple emails and everything else so i do apologize for being lackluster on that because i've been busy full-time job and it has been 
tough to find time to make some videos, but I do appreciate you stopping by. But yeah, Sunday we'll go ahead and show you all, everything inside and what I did, and you can replicate it on your 2950 or 2970 non DX to add the CT CSS tones and where to do it. I appreciate you all. We'll see you in the next one. Sub up if you want to down below, and thanks again.